Well, an N95 mask sterilization unit has been deployed now in Northern California. Yeah, let's find out more. CBS 13's Dina Kupfer talked with the company behind the technology and explains how it protects against the virus. Battelle, a nonprofit based out of Columbus, Ohio, would be supplying Northern and Southern California with their critical care decontamination system, sterilizing used N95 respirators, as many as 80,000 per day. One unit is now up and running in Burbank, the other in Fremont in the Bay Area. Traditional hosp you know, hospitals, in their traditional way that they use masks, you know, most of the workers, they, they put it on, when they're done with it, they throw it in the garbage can, right? And we're not doing that anymore. Again. Justin Sanchez, a tech fellow for life sciences at Battelle Memorial Institute, explains how the process works. So what first happens is we have to establish a protocol with the hospitals to save and collect the masks. They're all, um, they're marked and then the, they're bagged up, barcoded, and transferred from the hospital to this facility. This video shows a unit being assembled and put to use in Ohio. Once the masks arrive, they get unpacked and placed in these big shipping containers. They are then exposed to vapor phased hydrogen peroxide. But basically, as those masks are hanging in this container, uses vaporized hydrogen peroxide. It sits in there for about two and a half hours. Once sterilized, the masks sit for another two and a half hours to make sure there is no trace of the hydrogen peroxide left. The masks are then marked, rebagged, and shipped back to the hospital they came from. Each mask can be sterilized up to 20 times. A nonprofit thinking inside the box to keep our frontline workers safe. In a time of need, uh, to see a nonprofit come together with the federal government deployed at this speed and this magnitude. And to help those people that need it the most, again, it's really an amazing thing. Tina, thank you. Under a contract with the federal government, the cost of decontaminating N95 masks will be funded up to $400 million across 60 sites.